This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by the 2012 Ford Mustang. With Siri, you speak what you want your iPhone 4S to do, and it happens, sometimes. But if you're having trouble with Siri, or you're not sure you're getting the most out of that disembodied voice coming from your iPhone, Mark Watson, you might know him as Soldier Knows Best on YouTube, is here with some handy tips for the new Siri users. Mark, man, welcome back to the show. Oh, good to be back. So, how, how have you liked, I mean, Siri, there's some freaky stuff going on in Siri. There's obviously like a sense of humor going on there, because you can ask for naughty stuff, and Siri <laughs> will, in that strange little voice, will tell you exactly where to go to look for it. Yes. Which is, we're not going to get into that. What's, has, has anything sort of really, what's your like favorite or least favorite thing about Siri so far? I, I mean, just like that it's real personal. I mean, they did a really good job of making it, the responses that it gives you mm -hmm. can, can be funny sometimes, but it also feels like you're actually talking to a real person, so that's good. Uh, least favorite is just a network issue. Sometimes right. it just goes down for days. You can't you're use it at, at all, AT&T, right? <laughs> yeah, I am on at and uh, But other than that, Siri has been a pretty good addition to the iPhone. What's your number one tip for somebody getting used to Siri? Um, I would say speak loudly. Um, that's the best thing to do, speak loudly and just play around with it. I think the more you play around with it and find the different responses for it, um, you can find some good things by it. And um, a couple of tips that I do have for it, um, Siri, now you can do math mm -hmm. with it if you don't know. <laughs> so I wish I had this when I was in high school or something. Uh, so you can talk real quick to it. Siri, what is the square root of 64? I found this for you. All right, it's checking on it, and it actually did show me the square root of 64, which of course is eight, and I had to check anyway, like I bad my math is, I looked at Siri. Um, but you can do th different things like that, so that's gonna be good for a lot of uh, people in math. And also, so you can um, have a search Bing or Yahoo, you know, the default search engine for um, Siri is gonna be either Google or actually Wolfram Alpha. Mm -hmm. um, so you can tell Siri to just search Bing, search Bing for giraffes. And so now if you have your personal preference, the web for giraffes. and there you go. So you have your personal preference for search engines. Uh, you can do that just as easily. And also, too, you can update your Facebook status for Siri, which really? is pretty cool. So or if you creepy. go into Facebook, yeah, <laughs> it can be creepy. Don't piss Siri off. <laughs> <laughs> or don't leave your phone hanging around. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool if you uh, go onto Facebook and add your phone number to it. And then you uh, text, I think it's 32665. And then once you text that, it'll update your Facebook status on Facebook. So now all you got to do on your iPhone is add that as a contact cool. and name it Facebook. And then you can send text to Facebook. I'm on Techzilla. Here's your message to Facebook. Okay. Ready to send it? And then I can send it just like that. So it says Techzilla instead of uh, T-E-K. But anyway, you can send it that update to okay. your Facebook if you wanted to, just like that. So Siri is pretty cool. It's, it's actually amazing that your phone is even working this far. Right. In this, build. this building is a Faraday cage, so it's a miracle when AT&T works back here. I was actually amazed using Siri because I'm so used to having to talk like this to anything that right. was doing. And I realized that talking like that actually screwed it up, but talking in my normal tone of voice, which nothing in the world can understand, Siri was kind of like, you know, I, I was just, I was, I was shocked at how fast Siri is. Yeah, and even it's still in beta, so Apple mm -hmm. says it's still in beta, but, you know, it's just pretty impressive so far for what it is. Cool. Mark, good tips, man. Thank you so much for coming by. Hey, we want to thank Mark for being here today. If you haven't seen him, you can catch Mark on his show, Soldier Knows Best, at youtube.com slash soldier knows best. A lot of good stuff there. Go check it out. The Mustang is back, people. It's in-house, it's in our hands, I have the key. And we're gonna do a little head-to-head -head with my Mustang versus Veronica's Mustang. We built them out in the customizer, the fabulous 2012 Ford Mustang GT500 action here, getting my Shelby Cobra on. Yeah, and you know what's really nice? Is once you've actually gone through your car, you can actually go through, because you may, if you're like me, forget some of the details. The lust overcomes the memory, and it's like, okay, <laughs> I've got my body kit on here, it's a standard Cal special. Grabber blue on the color, standard door handles. I'm just eliminating the chrome here and keeping it simple. <laughs> I'm the guy whose taillights you're going to be seeing because this car is going to be that fast. Oh, I what see did, what you did there. What did you pack your Mustang with? Um, let's see. I think I did the same body type as you. I did the Cal Special Fascia. 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 Mm -hmm. um, I got. I did my nice custom color, kind of like a, a burgundy, perhaps a merlot, if you will. Burgundy, please. A burgundy tell me with some black trim on there. That's I got stylish. the. <laughs> that looked good at night. Yeah, I got the. I matched the door handles. Originally, I had the chrome handles, but I decided I wanted it to be seamless. I completely understand. Seamless. I've got the standard fuel door. I've got the uh, painted billet grill. Um, you can tell I don't know much about cars, but I know what I like, <laughs> and I like how this car looks at this point. Well, what's awesome is you can basically, it's, if you can click, 
you can basically find the features you want, especially when you're going through wheels. It's nice mm -hmm. to actually have wheels on a picture of a car yeah. where it looks realistic, unlike certain websites where you can buy wheels from. It's 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 fun. And how, how are you doing so far in your wins versus losses? I'm like at 50%. I'm 53%. Ooh. I'm a little, I've, I've done pretty well for myself. Uh -huh. I have eight wins and seven losses. 53%. And this, ladies and gentlemen, oh, is yeah. how it looks when you put it on the big screen. Get in and build your own Mustang, people. See how it stacks up against the rest of the internet. And we want to thank, once again, Ford and the 2012 Mustang, which I really enjoy driving, for sponsoring Techzilla.